Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. Well, I did say it would be a classic board game. Although, probably not the board game that you guys were expecting. In reality, Mario Party Superstars is coming soon. It'll more than likely be my next weekend project after I finish up what I want to do with Mario Golf uh, Toadstool Tour. So, just be a little more patient and stay tuned for that. This is just something kind of silly I wanted to do um, in between projects. I'm not really ready to start a new project just yet on the weekdays, and I'm not quite ready to return to Pokemon Emerald just yet. And this game has kind of been on my mind a lot as of late. Uh, this is a game that I actually watched my good buddy in the name of DT stream uh, a few months ago for his uh, stream shuffler series and there were a lot of just funny jokes and uh, memes that were created from that I think I actually played this game before for the uh, SNES classic completion series I did a while back and it's, it's just kind of a game that you know it's Monopoly if you've played Monopoly you know what to expect and uh, I thought it'd be fun just to kind of uh, do something short and silly like this, just to have a little bit of fun with something, and uh, thought this would be a good fit for that, so that's basically what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I'm not really going to be explaining how to play Monopoly, because, well, I mean, it's Monopoly. I feel like a lot of people know how to play Monopoly, but, uh, you know, uh, basically, for those who don't know, it's all about... Uh, you know, going around a board, um, buying properties, and trying to bankrupt all the other players with those properties, and also just trying to maneuver around the luck-based element of traveling around a board through dice rolls. You know, stuff that you normally see in a lot of Mario Party projects anyway. Um, but yeah, I uh, felt like doing this, thought it'd be kind of fun to test out, so that is what my next uh, project is going to be, so I... Uh, pretty much hope you guys enjoy. So let's go ahead and get out of the um, preview screen here. And let's actually get this game started. Um, but yeah, this was the game I actually did play a lot of as a child. Um, I was really big in the board games, but I never really had a lot of people to play board games with, so I often played board games like against myself, controlling multiple players. I know, it's kind of sad, but that's just the way my childhood was. Uh, but uh, one thing about Monopoly, I did really love Monopoly, but it was always just a pain to set up. So when my dad got the Monopoly video game for Super Nintendo, this was a great way where I could, you know, play a game of Monopoly without the setup, and I could also play against other players, whether I controlled them or I could even set some uh, computer players as well. So this was a game where I could actually, you know, do that and you know, feel a little less alone when playing a game like Monopoly, since normally my parents didn't really want to devote a lot of time to playing a game of Monopoly, especially on a regular basis or anything, too. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and play a game here. I'm going to be picking eight players, which playing with eight players can be pretty chaotic, because, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of spaces, and you could get very, very unlucky early on, but... Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think we can still make this work. And uh, basically for each player, you can make it a human player or a computer player. Obviously, the first uh, player is going to be me. And uh, I believe I can actually fit my entire name on this too, so... No Slim Key or no Slim Curb. I believe we can actually fit just all of my screen name here, which is nice. But yeah, 9 is the character limit, so keep that in mind. And uh, I'm going to pick my favorite piece uh, to play as in uh, Monopoly. For some reason, I really like playing as the Thimble. And I think it's actually mainly due to this game, if I'm being honest. And again, I'll show you what I mean about that later. So yes, we're going to be the Thimble for this one. Uh, so next up, I'm going to pick a few more human players. But the reason why I'm doing this is I plan to make them computer players when I start the game. If you just pick a computer player, and you know what, I'll go ahead and do this first. If you just pick a computer player, you actually get some preset names for those characters. So you have Elizabeth, Jeeves, Polly, Amanda, 
Marianne, Gary Camps, Betty Sue, and Billy Bob. So once you actually pick one of these, like you can't change their name, but if you actually pick a human player and name them, you can actually turn them into a computer player later. So just to give some kind of fun references to my channel and certain video game characters, I decided to do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and play against Billy Bob. We'll have one computer from the preset computer list. And uh, we'll make the other ones just uh, human players that we'll turn into computer players later. Uh, so, obviously, we're playing a board game on Slim Kirby's YouTube channel. We can't have um, a board game without this character. Princess Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom has to be involved in some way. So, of course, she's going to get added. Uh, we'll go ahead and make her the, uh, we'll make her the shoe. Uh, next up, uh, also in the same vein, another reference that I've, uh, made a lot. My main man, John Pieces. Gotta keep him involved in some form. Um, I don't think I'll be able to put the whole word pieces, so... We'll do this. We'll do Johnny P. <laughs> Johnny P. We'll go with that. Unfortunately, there's no period to uh, assume like an abbreviation, but that's fine. Okay, and we'll make him. We'll make him the top hat. I think. I think John Pieces would be fancy and wear a top hat like that. Uh, let's go ahead and make another character uh, from the Advance Wars series. He doesn't know what an airport is, but uh, he sure knows a thing or two about property development, I guess. So Andy from the Orange Star Army will make his debut in this game. And since he's a mechanic, we'll go ahead and give him the car. Uh, next up, from the town of Springfield, Bart Simpson decided that he wanted to join, but not as his name. Instead, he's going to be uh, joining as the... Alias, sorry, I couldn't think of the word. El Barto. And. We'll make him the wheelbarrow. For our next player, we have another name that's very notorious on the Slim Kirby channel. Damn it, Eric. However, which Eric am I talking about? I'll leave it to you guys to decide. And that'll be our seventh player. We'll go ahead and make them the iron, I guess. And for the final player for this game, we actually have a celebrity appearance joining us for this game. Wow, guys, I literally can't believe my eyes here, but uh, this game of Monopoly is actually going to be joined by legendary guitarist and singer from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Mr. Free Fallen himself, Tom Petty, is playing in this game of Monopoly. For those wondering why the hell I decided to make Tom Petty the last computer player, um, it's because I literally just got back from my vacation and my parents listened to nothing but Tom Petty for the entire time, so thought he'd be an interesting choice. Okay, so now that all of our players have been chosen, we can press the A button to start, or we could also press the B button for some additional options. I'm not going to actually set any of these, but uh, for this game, you could actually set the amount of cash you start with. You can assign properties uh, beforehand. You can place tokens in certain places. Uh, you can place buildings already on the board. And um, you can also make it a short game as well, and also load a preset game. But... I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and just get this game started. So let's press the B button and get this game going. Now the first thing I'm going to do before we get this started is uh, I'm going to press the select button because uh, this is how you access the menu. You have to choose which player you are speaking as. In this case I'm speaking as Tom Petty, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, but basically what I'm going to be doing for this is I need to actually set all of the uh, computer player or all the human players that I don't intend on playing with 
uh, to uh, computer players. So I need to do that for these six characters right here. Now what to do for that is just select the character. I need to go to general and I need to uh, computerize them. And I think once you computerize someone, you can't take control of them again, so keep that in mind. And, uh, yep, I need to do this for every single one of these characters, so let me just go ahead and do that really quick, and I will be right back. Okay, I believe this is the last player I have to do this with. So let me go ahead and do this. Computerize. And there we go. So we've... Uh, Essentially made every single uh, human player, except Slim Kirby, into a computer player. Um, in addition to that, uh, this is also the menu where you can set up, uh, you know, buying houses and hotels. You can also mortgage properties, trade with other players. In the general tab, you can set a timer, adjust the game speed, uh, just look at all the properties on the board and who owns them. And uh, you can also look at the turn order as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also just end the game if you're tired of playing. But uh, this game is just starting. Uh, so we're not going to do that just yet. And I will increase the game speed. Let me do two turns uh, before I adjust that, though. Just to give you guys some, uh, some form of an idea of like what the general animations look like and stuff of that nature. Um, but yeah, as a kid, I really loved this game. Like, I thought that it was very charming. Like, all the different animations that you could see in the backgrounds and the foregrounds and all the neat little effects. Some of the music is actually pretty catchy as well. I just really liked this game as a kid. I'm not sure what it was. It's nothing amazing by any means, but still, it's, it's definitely fun for what it is. I mean, if you like Monopoly... I, I, I definitely could see you kind of getting some enjoyment out of this game, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, all I need to say. I think I've kind of gone over my reasons for playing this game. And uh, let, let's just have some fun with it. Let's see how this game goes. Should be a very interesting experience and experiment. But yeah, as I mentioned before, it can be really, really hard to kind of get going in an eight-person game. Because, again, there's just a lot of people playing. There's a lot of players involved. And, you know, the game is very dependent on your dice rolls, especially the more players there are. Otherwise, you just may not get any properties you want. And that's obviously going to be a problem. But uh, there are ways you can kind of manipulate, especially with the CPUs in particular. Uh, sometimes CPUs don't exactly know what a good deal is, <laughs> so sometimes they might accept uh, certain things um, when they probably shouldn't. Uh, did I not computerize Andy? I guess not. Okay, well, let's do that. I thought I did, but... Um, okay, there he goes. I really thought I did, though, but mm, must have just missed them accidentally. Okay. So we've almost gone through the initial list of players. I believe all of the uh, light blue properties have been picked up. One of the railroads, one of the oranges, and looks like the electric company as well. Did anyone get one of the light purples? El Barto got a dark purple, but not a light purple. And, oh man, Tom Petty has the waterworks now, too. So both utilities have been picking up, picked up. So we'll need to uh, be careful of that. I normally like getting the utilities early because they can be good properties to kind of use for trades. And looks like, well, it looks like just Tom Petty's flat out demanding. <laughs> demanding. What? What? Okay, John Peace has just gave Tom Petty the electric company. He must be a fan of uh, Tom Petty music, I guess. <laughs> That's the only explanation that can be had. So yeah, Tom Petty's actually having a really good start here. Has a lot of properties, and uh, that could be a problem. 
And especially since I'm not going to get anything from this uh, railroad, that's going to be a bit of a problem. <clears throat> but let's see. It's still early. We'll see what happens. Looks like Billy Bob going to grab one of the uh, yellow properties. And going to land on Chance. Another thing you can kind of keep in mind when it comes to like Chance and Community Chest. I think once you go through all the cards, they don't shuffle the cards in this game. So you pretty much know the order of what... Uh, cards will come and when if you, you know, memorize them or something. Yeah, I'm still really surprised he just gave the electric company so easily. I would have not made that move myself if I'm being honest. Man, is that the first uh, pink property being picked up? I think it is. Yep. Andy is the... Uh, big pink owner right now. And, oh, it looks like El Barto is going to jail for his graffitiing crimes. <laughs> okay, and there we go. Looks like, I think that's 60 bucks. Yep. So yeah, Tom Petty already getting uh, reimbursed for getting those properties. But he doesn't have a lot of money, so he can't really buy too much more, which is kind of a good thing. Let's just hope I can pick up something so I can get New York. Um, none of the red properties have been picked up either, which is also good. And of course I get one of the oranges that have already been picked up. No. <laughs> I want some more properties. I like trying to get like at least like three properties, so I have like you know, um, a property I can kind of use to kind of leverage and get something I want. And then, you know, just get two main sections that I'm working on. Of course, Peach has to get Indiana. I was kind of hoping to get that one because Indiana is where I live and everything but still. And then JP immediately having to pay Peach for that. Man, everyone has landed on that Tennessee property. Okay, it looks like El Barto is going to be forcing or trying to enforce Billy Bob to give the property, but since he didn't have anything else to counter offer, definitely was not a great prospect. Yeah, it looks like uh, El Bardo decided to just go ahead and get out of jail. Unfortunately, did not get any new properties as a result. Okay, can I take my turn soon? Because I want to... Ah, oh, damn. Eric got New York. I mean, I couldn't get that anymore anyway, because you can't roll a one. But still. I would have liked to have gotten that. And looks like Tom Petty... Gonna be getting community chest. And an additional 100 on the top of the 200 he just got, too. And I believe it's my turn again. I don't think Marvin Gardens has been picked up yet, so I will take that. Normally I'm not crazy about the yellows. I kind of prefer getting the pinks and the oranges, maybe the reds, but... I mean, yellows are expensive, so you can definitely get something out of them. I really want to get a railroad, though, because uh, railroads could uh, give me some leverage with Billy Bob, since he has a railroad and a yellow. So I could probably get something from him. We'll have to see, though. 
It is still very early. Okay, I think we've done a couple of turns with the uh, slow animation. Although that looks like fast animation, honestly. I'll have to see when I'm moving again. Maybe if with computer players it's automatically set to fast or something. Okay, looks like Andy got one of the railroads. Alberto going to Indiana. Looks like they're going to be picking up Pacific as well. A lot of properties being purchased, which honestly not a terrible thing. Just need to make sure that I get some good leverage going. So let's see. Has that one been picked up yet? Yes, it has. Actually, I think all the blues have been picked up. Maybe not Connecticut, though. Oh, no, no, Connecticut. I think Peach has Connecticut. Okay. Well, I got Park Place. That's good. Now, before I do any trading, though, I want to make sure that, like... Because I don't want to end up giving Park Place to someone that will ultimately end up with Boardwalk as well. So I'm going to wait till Boardwalk is in play and someone has it before I start trading around Park Place. But I essentially want to use a property like Park Place to maybe trade for maybe like two lower properties that I could probably get some better use out of. That's kind of how I like to play the game because, you know, obviously I think I get better value from some of the, you know, the light blues, pinks, oranges, and reds. I try to go for those as opposed to like the higher end properties. So, you know, I kind of I kind of like trying to give people the illusion that, oh, you could have this like super valuable property, but in reality, it's like I'm strengthening up like uh, properties I think will be better in the long run. That's kind of how I try to play this game anyway. Okay. And hey, I might end up with Boardwalk at some point, too. So if I do, then, well, hey, I just have those going for me. I just have to be careful, because, again, it can be kind of expensive to build those up. Not as expensive as the uh, greens, though. The greens are, like, the most expensive ones to build up. Because there's three of them. Damn, I did not want to land on that. I'm actually not sure what my money is right now. I know I've bought a lot. I think I do want to go for 10%, though. Yeah, that's still cheaper than 200, so... Had a little more than I thought I did, but still. Okay. I think Peach just landed on the same thing I did. I also just love, like, the raining money whenever you pass go. I just thought that was a cute touch. Everyone is passing go. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I don't have to already pay that money that you just got for school. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Yes, pay me, pay me at Park Place. That's already given me some good money already. I am 
not disappointed in that. There's Tennessee again. So does anyone have like two of one property yet? Aside from Tom Petty's like utilities, doesn't seem like it. Okay, so there's still a yellow available. There's still two of the pinks available. Boardwalk is still on the table. There's a green still available. Two reds available. I don't know if I said yellow or not, but all the greens have been gotten. Okay, let's just see what happens. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. And that's a good one to get, too, because you can actually uh, land on that through a card. So, I'm good with that. So I might try to get one more property before I start trying to trade around some stuff. If I can maybe get one of those reds, that would be really ideal. That'd actually give me some good coverage around the board, too. Because I have like a little bit of like every section. <laughs> including sections I'm probably more interested in putting properties up than others. Okay, it looks like uh, JP gonna get one of the reds. Andy is trading. He's trying to get one of those greens. And Tom is not having it. Now this could be the boardwalk. It is, okay. Boardwalk has been gotten, so now I do kind of want to consider maybe doing some trades. Okay. I'll wait till it's my turn before I do that, though. And that will do it for this episode of this crazy game of Monopoly. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.